Hello and welcome, July it's here. It's time for a recap of the biggest diabetes tech news stories of the last month. And this includes Tandem and Medtronic working together. We've got some Libre free news and a lot more. Well, so as you know, 2020 is very unpredictable and unusual. And it continues to be with this story. So Tandem and Medtronic, they've signed a patent cross licensing agreement. Many details of this are not disclosed to the general public. But what it basically means is that under this new agreement, Tandem now have access to all of Medtronic's patents and they can use them in their products. And Medtronic has access to Tandem's patents and they can use them in their products. So for example, if Tandem wanted to uh, create a pump which can deliver both music and insulin, they can now do that. And you think I am joking and I am actually not joking. A couple of years ago, Medtronic has actually patented an insulin pump with a built-in MP3 and radio player. They described it as, I quote, a portable infusion pump system which serves a dual purpose of providing medication and entertainment for the user from a compact device. So I think this is just genius because when you are low, you could just play all time low or like when your glucose all over the place, you could just play one directions, no control. I mean, it's a genius idea and I simply don't understand why Medtronic hasn't put this into the real world. Under this new agreement, Tandem can now use this patent because I've got new rules. This is great news for Tandem, Medtronic and the community because it means that they can now focus on innovating and they do not need to worry about legal lawsuits and kind of spending loads of time and money on lawsuits and this kind of stuff. And uh, now obviously this only applies to Medtronic and Tandem. So if Omnipod wanted to use this patent and create a, a, an Omnipod system with a radio and mp3 player they would need to obviously go to Medtronic and be like hey i've just met you and this is crazy <laughs> but here is my number so um call me maybe now i know what you're thinking thank you next so next is freestyle libre free abbott has just announced that uh, freestyle libre free is entering clinical trials in the us they need 100 participants to take part in this trial to assess the accuracy of this new system. Details about Freestyle Libre Free are not published in this documentation, but it is widely assumed that Freestyle Libre Free will be a real-time CGM, just like Dexcom or um, Guardian. If you want to participate in a clinical study and you live in the US and you meet the criteria, the link is in the video description. And if you want to participate in clinical studies in general, you can go to the link in the video description and all clinical studies that are going are there. And I always advocate for clinical studies. I think it's a fantastic way to participate and be part of the huge innovation that's happening in diabetes tech. Continuing with Abbott, they announced a partnership with Tandem to integrate Freestyle Libre CGM into Tandem's insulin pump. Now, this is a partnership that we already knew about. This agreement just confirms that they are still working on integrating Libre into Tandem's pumps. Um, just a reminder, Freestyle Libre 2 will not work with Control IQ because it was approved as an ICGM not to be used in um, hybrid closed loop systems, which is a fancy name for give me more insulin when I'm high and give me less insulin when I'm low system. But it's great to see this announcement to confirm that they are still working on integrating um, this CGM into Tandem's pumps. So we have a choice of either Dexcom or Libre in the future. Also under my fork app has received a really nice update this month. This app combines your CGM data with your meals and now you can filter all meals which resulted in a hypo two hours after the meal in the insights screen. I think it's a great update. I've been personally using it myself for the last couple of weeks. And it's great because it allows me to see if there are any particular dishes that I eat that I overestimate carbohydrates for. So uh, overestimating carbs is the main reason why I personally, and this is just my personal experience, would go low after eating a meal. And by having pictures of all of those dishes in one place, I can kind of see if there are any particular dishes that I just um, overestimate carbs for. If you want to learn more about this app and the update, I'm going to put some links in the video description. So those are all the stories. A uh, pretty short episode this month. Not a lot has happened. Um, um, now, before I wish you sweet dreams, um, uh, just wanted to say stay positive. Um, please let me know how you're doing. Hope you're safe and hope you are uh, healthy. 
Um, uh, please let me know what you think about all of the stories that I mentioned in this month's video. Now you might have noticed that I dropped a couple of song titles and lyrics in this month's video and this was all inspired by Medtronic's patent to create an insulin pump with radio and mp3 player built in that tandem now has access to. I mean what a brilliant idea. I mean if I was low I would just play all time low or high hopes or watermelon sugar i mean you know oh, there's so many songs so many songs so many songs so uh, first of all please let me know in the comments which song would you play on your insulin pump and secondly please try to count how many song references i made in this month's video and um let me know in the comments and i'll let you know if you're the winner i see you in the next month Bye bye